I'm Cece Lucky, and today I'm going to be writing a short story for YouTube. And uh, I'll be doing that like I normally do with Chaos Writing Sprints, which means that at any point in time, my Twitch followers can challenge me and I have to spin the Wheel of Chaos and whatever it lands on, I have to do. Yeah, let's get started. So I had an idea for a story. I like it. I think it should be funny, but the basic concept is that it's the world's dumbest superpower. Somebody can open any jar or bottle. My husband and I were talking about this yesterday and uh, making jokes about it, so I thought it would be a funny prompt for a story, so that's what I'm doing. Alright, so how do I start this? Okay, if we're doing in media res, uh, I mean usually stuff like this starts with somebody trying to do the thing. Oh, it could be like one of those one of those commercials where everybody is like messing up doing the thing in the most ridiculous ways. Yeah, I could do it like it's on the TV and then like there are people watching it like this is so stupid. That's that's how I'm going to start. The way that they usually do it in the commercials that I'm talking about, it's like the people are doing all of the really stupid things to try and do whatever it is the product is selling. So we'll start with something like that. Looks like it's time to spin the Wheel of Chaos. Let's see what I get. Okay, I have to change the last adjective. You would not think this would be so difficult. Nope, that's a verb. That's a verb. I don't think I have one. I don't. I'll just change a verb then. I think I would be better at this. I'm the one who came up with all of those challenges. Okay, I gotta put in a lucky event. I have an idea. Well, that was the first riding sprint, and so far, I think it's kind of cute, which is good because that's what I wanted to go for, was just a cute story of somebody who wants to be a superhero who opens jars. Where I think that I'm going to take it next. He's going to keep having these interactions where people keep pointing out the flaw in his desire to be a superhero. Get across the idea that everyone thinks it's stupid, and then I'm going to have, like, an old man and his daughter walking through a park or something, and the old man starts to, like, have a heart attack or something and the daughter's struggling to get a pill bottle open so that he can get his medicine and save his life, the jar opener is going to swoop in and save the day for her and then uh, it's going to culminate in, in basically like skip ahead to the future and now she's his wife and she's telling her kids about how they met and she'll be like, and that's how I met your father. And uh, it'll be this like idea that it's this super exaggerated story that she's telling to convince her kids that their dad is a superhero. And yeah, I, I think I, I like that idea because it's sweet and cute and it plays into sort of the idea of guys opening jars for women. But I have to get there first, so I still have a little bit to go before I, before I can get to that point. I don't know exactly how I'm going to convey that the wife is telling this story and lying the whole time, but I'm sure I'll think of something. Change adjective. Okay. The second one I've had to do this time. It's a good reminder to include more adjectives. Near-death experience. Okay. Well, that's convenient because that was going to happen anyway. I managed to end it off the way that I wanted to. That was nice. It's always good when a story goes the way you want. I got a lot of feelings about like the way that I interact with my husband and so I just I really enjoyed writing that ending because it's very you know true to me in particular. My family everybody really tends to make fun of me because I talk really well about my husband all the time and uh, 
like I never have anything bad to say about him because he's awesome and I love him. And uh, so, so everyone always tells me that I, I love my husband so much it makes them sick. And so I kind of wanted to get that idea across with the, the woman and her husband at the end of the story where she's just like even to their children, she's just talking him up like crazy. And that was fun to put in a story. I don't usually get to do stuff like that. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to make the story work when I put it up on YouTube, but I'm sure something will come out of it. So that's okay. I got it written in the first place. Writing things is good for me. I wasn't really in the mood for writing today to begin with, though. Getting even that little bit in feels really good. I think that's going to be all of the writing for today because I don't know that I have the energy to do another one. I just wanted to get a little bit in. So I think I'm going to move on to playing video games as a reward for being a good girl and doing my writing like I was supposed to. But yeah, thank you guys for joining me today during my writing sprints. I got a lot done. Anyway, I will see you later.